Getting the most from Keybase and simple online encryption, this time on Hack5. This episode of Hack5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello, welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. My name is Shannon Morse. It's your weekly dose of Technolust. Welcome, everybody, to the show. We are getting into some fun public key cryptography, PKI. <laughs> that I stands for infrastructure, not cryptography. But, you know, it's the fun thing where I can send you the messages, and then anybody yes. intercepting will be all like, what's up with the gobbledygook? That is correct. So in the past, we have talked about PGP itself. We've talked about uh, Keybase, which is a website, keybase.io, which lets you do social networking type sign up. And we saw, well, we've also talked about Mailvelope. So basically, public key cryptography. Talked about it a bunch in the past. Uh, uh, this is from P GPG all the way to Mailvelope to Keybase, which was the right. newest one. And, and we're always looking for the most convenient way to do this because ultimately, oh, yeah. like we should all be using strong encryption. But you're, if it's the, you're not going to do it if it's, it's if it's too hard. Nobody's going to do it. Yeah, or if you're too <laughs> uninformed, like the people at the banks, where I'm like, yeah, I'd love to send you that totally sensitive uh, form. What's your public key? And they're all like, they literally said it's okay because. By the time, because when we get the email, it's encrypted on our end. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, that's not helping anyone. I was legit rolling on the yes. floor laughing when he told me this. I was just like, really? Yeah. Really? So today <laughs> we are taking another look at one of our favorite social oh, encryption platforms, Keybase. Uh, if you're looking for a primer on that, Shannon did a great uh, feature on it on episode 1715, but TLDR is basically, Social networking meets public key cryptography and all the best ways. And yeah. it's easy and super you know, easy. I think we should probably just do an example of like the easy way and then I show you so. how to get the most out of it uh, with all of the apps and stuff like that. Okay, so um, first off, we're going to do an example using the most basic encryption and decryption services right from the website because you can actually do it in the browser. And then we'll actually dive into getting the most from Keybase using a command line interface app, which is also very easy to use once you know how to do it. Right. <laughs> and I should say that the cool thing about encryption with Keybase is that everything is done in your browser using JavaScript. Specifically, we're talking about KB PGP. That's the key base implementation of the industry standard uh, public key cryptography system developed by Phil Zimmerman back in 1991. That's right, our beloved PGP. Pretty good privacy. Yeah, it stands for pretty good privacy because it's pretty good. And I mean, it's lasted the test of the time almost a quarter of a century. Wow. So that's 17 millenniums in internet time, I think? I, I think that's the calculation. Just you guys not. can let us know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive in. So okay. Shannon, you want to send me a message? Yeah, sure. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly over to Keybase.io, and I logged in with my Shannon Morse account. So you can always track me if you want to on here, which is basically like friending. Uh, you can go to Keybase.io slash Shannon Morse and choose track, which will show up as a button down at the bottom. Oh. There we go. So now I'm going to go up here to my different buttons, or I can go down here to encrypt. So I'm going to encrypt a message to Darren. So the recipient is going to be burp, Darren Kitchen, who has also signed up for an account on Keybase. So I'll choose Darren Kitchen. And I'm going to send him a message that says, Kirby likes other cats. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I'm going to sign the message with my keybase.io passphrase, which by the way, way, I do use 2FA on LastPass, just FYI. So I sign and encrypt it, and it gives me this PGP message. So now I can copy this message, go ahead and nuke the plain text. And you can then send that to me over any medium. And that's kind of the fun thing about PGP is now that we actually have the, the encrypted message, it doesn't matter what the medium may be, whether it's email or in this case, are you going to send me an email or a? Uh, I did. So I went oh, over okay. to my Gmail account and I just sent it over to your Darren at Hack5 email. So um, I just copied and pasted it into the subject and or into the body of the text and I hit send. So uh, you should receive my encrypted message I in am, your Darren at Hack5 I'm email. I'm waiting for the Gmail to refresh. Let's play the Gmail refresh game. There it is. That was quick. OK. All right. So here we are. And I have uh, my message over here in Gmail. And I'm actually still using, uh, I love Mailvelope. You use it's, Mailvelope. I love Mailvelope. It's really convenient. So this is what it looks like when you get an encrypted email in Mailvelope. And so I can just go ahead and unlock this. By the way, Mailvelope is secure as long as your computer is secure. <laughs> the same can be said 
uh, pretty much for any encryption yeah. system. It's only as secure as weak link, so protect your computer and you should be all good. Uh, Mailvelope, very convenient. I love it. Uh, and as you can see, I, it was just decrypted, and I can see Kirby likes other cats. I think what's also important to emphasize here is that we're using two different services. You're using right. Keybase, I'm using Mailvelope, but since we're just using our standard PGP public keys it's and private keys It's the same keys PG key, PGP keys that we're using back and forth between all these different, um, basically, interfaces to share that PGP encrypted message. Right, so I could actually go right back into here and do a little reply action. And with Mailvelope, it looks like this. You get this little uh, edit icon up here. Aww. And I can say, no, actually, Kirby doesn't like <laughs> other cats. And then hit encrypt. And then I choose the recipient. And in this case, I have not added you, so I need to add you. Hang on a second. Uh, I can show you how to do it, actually. This is one of the cool things about Keybase is I need your public key. I know you're keybase.io slash Shannon Morse. Right. So you can go to my profile, and you can click on my public key. I can and go ahead simply and just copy, copy and that. It. And in Mailvelope, and the reason I don't is because Mailvelope doesn't store the keys in the clouds, and I haven't done this on this laptop. So I'll import the key on this laptop and say import, and successfully added that key. Cool. So now when I go to encrypt that message and say, Kirby thinks you smell funny, and hit encrypt. Oh, I think she smells funny. And then there she is as the recipient, and I click add, and I hit OK, and I can transfer that message and send it. Cool. And there we go. All right, you have so received. Now you play the I should email be able game. to receive it in my email now. Don't go over to my email because I have a lot of things in my inbox right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go ahead. I did receive the email, and it's simply an encrypted message. So I'm going to copy it. Okay. And now you can go over to my toolbox. Okay, so now this time I click on decrypt. So even though he sent this to me in Mailvelope, I can still open it in Keybase because it's using the same public key to send me messages. So I copy and paste it in there. I go ahead and verify my identity with my passphrase, and I decrypt it, and I should receive the message. Kirby thinks you smell funny. So yeah, it worked. And then Hello. I can clear and hide it. Yes, voila, or all of those other fun words. Um, and this means that we have successfully shown the demo of basically using the web service. But what if we want to do some more advanced stuff? What if we want to like encrypt files and stu such? I want to learn how to encrypt files. Well, we're going to do that in just a minute. But first, we're going to take a quick break and thank one of our awesome sponsors. Domain.com and .club came to Hack5 with a great idea. Build a club all about learning stuff, making things, and having fun. So we've been hosting open houses at the Hack5 warehouse through hackhouse.club. And with the help of Domain.com and .club, we've taken it to the next level with the Quadcopter Arena of Doom. From land parties, drone racing, and battle arenas, to 3D printing, software-defined radios, and let's not forget barbecue, hacking is just plain better when it's social. Doc Club gets it, and they are the perfect social domain. Whether it's IRC or clubs in RL, it's all about coming together and having fun. So what better domain to do it than a Doc Club? It's perfect because a Doc Club is universally and globally understood. So if you're looking for the ultimate social domain, consider a Doc Club. So join us this summer in the San Francisco Bay Area and bring your mini quadcopter to the arena for DroneBattle.Club. We're setting up the leaderboard, so show us what you've got. And what's your dot club? Let us know and we'll share it with the Hack5 audience and help spread the word. Get yours over at domain.com slash club. They're only $9.99 a year and there are thousands of great domains available. And be sure to use the coupon code HAK5 to get 15% off and let them know we sent you. So when you think domain names, think domain.com. All right, I am ready. Let's install the Keybase app. Are you ready? Yes. To do that, basically, <laughs> it's a command line program for Linux. It's in alpha right now, but you know what? It works pretty well. Uh, firstly, we need to install the prerequisites, namely GNUPG, that's the open source version of PGP, as well as Node.js and NPM, the package cool. manager for Node.js, among other things. And if you're using a, a, a Debian-based system, like my Ubuntu boxes, then you can do this with a nice little one-liner. Sudo app get install. Sudo app get install. All the things. All the things, all the time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do sudo apt get install gnupg, which I probably already have on the system, node, js, tack, legacy, as well as npm. npm, because I like to see when we download all the things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right, and now we can actually install the Keybase installer. So sudo npm install tac g Keybase dash installer. Ooh. It's got a cute little ASCII thing going, and there we go. That's it. I Easy. mean, it's pretty simple. And now we just run the Keybase installer. Tab so that's complete that guy. Pseudo Keybase tech installer. Yes. Or dash. Get a couple of warnings because I haven't set up my GPG conf yet, but no worries. All should be good. And now gives us a little help text, but we're going to go ahead and verify that we have this up and running by running the Keybase command, which is new. Hooray with version, and we can see. Well, OK, so it's going to complain because I haven't set up the configuration yet. We'll right. show you why that is in a second. But we have the keybase.io CLI version 0.8.18. Cool. So it's installed. So it's Yay. installed, and we can go ahead and start doing stuff with this. The something useful? Something useful. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do anything useful until you log in, which is why we're getting complaints about the configuration. So let's go ahead and log in. So for that, keybase, and we'll do login. And I am Darren at hack5.org. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. And it makes the directory and updates the keybase so files, cool. the config JSON that I was complaining about, and booyah. Booyah kasha. Booyah. OK. Yes. And that was prep key that totally just blanked out. OK. So there you go. now that you finally got logged in and it's using the same login info that you use for the browser version of Keybase, mm. we can actually encrypt a file. So yes. let's choose, let's say a Kirby JPEG. <laughs> yes. In because fact, why not? <laughs> in fact, I have just such a thing right here, Kirby JPEG. And you can imagine, in fact, <laughs> let's, let's get a little Kirby up on the screen. Come on. Which PS is short for Kerbos. Yes, which if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that Kerberos is an awesome authentication uh, protocol and a cute little cat. OK, so that said, let's encrypt all the cats. OK. To do that, <laughs> uh, you know what? If I just run Keybase, I should get the commands here, or tac tac help. What I want to see is I can actually yeah. search for you. If I do a search, it'll search all the users. If I do Keybase search, Shannon Morse. There we go. <gasps> and I can see cool. there's oh, you. Oh, yeah, it verifies my, my Twitter account. There's your key fingerprint, and I got your GitHub is snubs, and your Twitter yep. is snubs. So it also gives you the data that I use to verify my Keybase account yes. through my social networks. So that's cool. one of the real cool things about Keybase is you can use it to verify tweets and things of that nature. Oh. But I'm going to use it to send Shannon a encrypted copy of this Kirby JPEG so that she can enjoy so it for herself. And yeah, it's it's keeping the cats away from the man. <laughs> That's get, right. Get your hands off okay, my cats, let's, man. Let's do the thing. Right, so let's do the thing. So for that, we will go ahead and do a key base, encrypt Shannon Morse, because that was the, uh, the user that we wanted. Yep. Kirby dot. So it's kind of like. Kirby.jpg, which is right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do a TACTO. You can also do a Waka. Just redirect or a that. Or TACO, right? Or sorry, a TACO, thank you, to Kirby.jpg. So I'm giving away that it's a JPEG. I'm giving away the file name, which is fine, .asc. And ASC is basically a encrypted file format. Yes. And so it's here we go. I've got your public key fingerprint. I see you on Twitter and GitHub. Is this the Shannon Morse we wanted? Uh, by default, if I hit Enter, it's no. See the capitalized N there? That's kind of a cool feature. So I actually say yes. OK, permanently track the user and write proof to the server. Yeah, sure, why not? And there we are. If I go ahead and ls star dot asc, I can see the Great. Kirby JPEG ASC file. Okay. Yes. So, so how do I decrypt it, though? OK, so if you now were to take that same file, mm -hmm. and actually this isn't going to work because I encrypted it for you and not me, and I'm logged in as me and not you, but I could log out and then log in as you. But anyway, suffice it to say, it's really simple. All we have to do, head back over here and do a key base, and then decrypt. Again, that file would be kirby.jpg.asc. And in that case, you just walk it over, because otherwise it'll just spill the contents into your command line, <laughs> yeah. and that's not going to be as much fun. Uh, or tack O to output to kirby-unencrypted.jpg. 
And in that case, since it's been encrypted for you, I would need to do it for you. Right, but so it's going to give you an error whenever you try to, to decrypt work, it. Not going to work, but this will work for you. Yes. Or I could have encrypted it for myself. And actually, that's a very valid point. Like, there's no reason why you couldn't use this to encrypt things for yourself and then delete the original and always have an encrypted copy. So if your laptop gets seized at the border on your way into the UK, you're still going to jail. <laughs> Because the UK. Because because and reasons. Just because. Oh, it's so terrible. Anyway, this is very very useful, uh, especially because there's so many companies nowadays that are like, hey, just send me your, you know, your tax forms over the emails. Yeah, but and then I you love have all these. Like, notes oh no no, no it's cool it's cool. Let's, let's do it over fax. Yeah, do it over fax. Somehow that's more secure. No, that's just esoteric. And I, I know people are going to say, well, it is, you know, it is compliant, but. Who knows who's standing on the other side of the fax machine? That's you know my fax that's my is, argument. Uh, you know you know the patent for the fax machine dates back to 1905. Yep. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, we are encouraging you to check out these services. I find them uh, very useful. It's one of the most friendly. Uh, ways to do public encryption that I have seen. Uh, so definitely dive into the Keybase app. It is great for things, not just encrypting like we showed you, but signing, verifying, tracking, all the other cool things that you can do with Keybase IO. And as it is just like any other Linux app. I can now use it so to like cool. pipe things into it and you know turn it as part of my other script or whatever I'm doing. So yeah. you know, like all those backup files you've got on a cron job, like why not? I don't know. I thought it was going to be so much easier or so much harder it to ain't. encrypt a file and it's decrypt good it. Stuff. It's awesome. Okay. Uh, so of course, I still love the standard GPG. I should mention. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I find it as a nice alternative. It is. It's more friendly. Yeah. Uh, of course, let us know what you think. You can always email us feedback at hack5.org, or you can leave a comment below if you're watching this over on the tubes. Over on the tubes <laughs> until they change everything in the comments over there or over here. We're just going right. to future proof ourselves. <laughs> it's all over the place. <laughs> so that about wraps up this episode of Hack 5. First, we have a couple of different announcements. Because, yes, you know, fall exciting. Is exciting. Our next pen test with Hack 5 class is coming up this weekend. So if you're nearby the Bay Area, you want to partake in this immersive InfoSec training, check out pentestwithhack5.com. That's the 18th, 19th, and 20th. So it's a three day course. Yes. Very, very excited about that. Also, we're going to be doing another open house on September 26th. So if you want to come yes. by the Hack 5 warehouse, uh, I know this time we're going to we be cook setting. Food. We're, yeah, we're going to have barbecue and, and there's we all like sorts dogs. of games and stuff. I, I know that we're having a quadcopter uh, build workshop. Ooh. So this will be a really fun one. You have to sign up, though, at hakhouse.club for your invite. So please do that. And then later in October, uh, I think it's the weekend before the last weekend, Yes, <laughs> we're going to go to TorCon San Diego. So that is a really, really fun hacker con down in San Diego, California. Really hope you guys can join us down there. It's going to be a blast. We love TorCon. Yes. Of course, if you like what you're seeing and you want to help us out directly, you can do so and get some awesome pen test gear in the process over at our very own shop, hakshop.com. Check it out. You'll find the land turtle, among other things. Ooh. Great for getting shells. Uh, good stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here for the last 10 years. Or if you're Thank new, you. welcome. You've got a lot of catching up to do. With that, <laughs> I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your technolust. Bye. Welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. I was ready. We're just doing a mic check. Hey everybody, welcome to Hack 5. This is my normal voice. Why was that 11 minutes? Because your face.